Hey, good morning, everybody. It's me, it's Kim Warner, and I just want to share some of the love. I'm feeling that prosperity energy. I'm feeling that God energy that says you can do all things. Sometimes we don't share it, we just take it in and you know, we keep it to ourselves, but I'm like, you know, we enlarge my territory, enlarge the people's territory. You go, it's Sagittarius time, and so it's all about enlarging territory. Sagittarius gives you optimism, it gives you confidence and courage, but just be careful with this energy that you don't expand too far out beyond the expectations that are conducive for this year time and season why because there is a time and season for everything I was talking to um, some young ladies you know and um, of course I've lived many years I've lived eternally <laughs> according to um, the Spirit of God within me and that's for everybody um, eternity lives within us and so a lot of revelations begin to come as we awaken uh, spiritually and um, ironically Sagittarius brings in the spirit of philosophy and um, religion if you pay attention now so from this point on if you haven't pay attention to the times and seasons um, there may be times that some of you that are speakers can't speak um, but Mercury is in that speaking um, projectile as well um, uh, but Sagittarius, it loves to study. And so if um, Sagittarius energy is flowing, especially at this time, because it's that time of the year, Sagittarius are, you know, coming into their solar return. Um, what they do is they can spend a lot of money um, not knowing that they feel optimistic. They know that more is coming, but more may not come as soon as they think so you got to get a balance on that Sagittarius energy um, sometimes you're overly optimistic and that just means that everybody don't want to hear you know the happiness that you have but you know be you in the happiness and the optimism just don't overburden people that don't want to be happy give a little bit and keep a little bit because it's a balance to everything and so when we say expansion it is a planet and energy of expansion that's what it's about that's what it comes here um, in its energy to do and that's what its work is it doesn't know that it needs balance and so us as earth beings from the heavenlies to the earth we uh, become uh, aware of who we are spiritually and we can balance out overspending because um, if we don't then we'll be so optimistic and happy and, and believing that all things are happening right now that we'll think is coming right now and we'll overspend or overdo or overwork and then our energy is exhausted and we're waiting for the next supply you know so kind of work with the balance of knowing uh, how to mitigate or um, bring the supply together you know work with the balance and so um, also be aware that the expansion comes in the body so yeah enlarge my territory um, the J Bass prayer um, expand because that's what the universe wants but it's all about balance and so I don't think that there is a possibility of over loving people but there is um, the possibility of over loving those that are not used to love you know just give them a little bit at a time and don't let them take away your enthusiasm and happiness and I hope that um, encourages your day because it is a wonderful day even though here in Las Vegas it's very windy um, the um, weather is changing a lot um, here um, I think up in the mountains they were saying that it's snowing which is not too far from us and yes when you look up I can see snow on the mountains so um, there's changes going on you know in Las Vegas where it's usually uh, warm and you know um, we do get some colder weather but it's not like it's coming in now you can know that there's changes so what does that say there's changes going on within us and um, 
that is according to the universe whatever happens in the universe is going to happen through us because we're universal beings and um, that means that if the universe is sharing something new it's going to share it with us whether we want to receive it or not if you're traditional um, and you're religious like I was saying about uh, Sagittarian energy it brings it in it can be a know-it-all and there's balance that's, that's needed there why because none of us know everything until the mind of God begins to work through us um, unlimitedly and um, we are people that put limits on things I don't you know I don't care what anybody says you can dispute it um, but limitations have to come into balance where we know that you give and you um, you receive there's no taking in this here and so there's a lot of lessons that are going on for us to learn and um, but more than energy just of I mean anything just absorb that beautiful energy that is going on right now God blessed us with it um, and don't overdo it preserve preserve and uh, remember you know this here scripture it says um, prosperity now prosperity now prosperity now and feel that feel that like you feel um, excited and happy and um, get that thought of prosperity permeating in you where it is solid and the foundation of who you are and watch everything that may have been locked up locked up and stopped uh, begin to uh, make its way to you uh, the heavens have to open up when you're happy because happiness is about what heaven is about and um, he said that when you give he will give back to you and it will be um, pressed down, shaken together, running over. Men will pour into your bosom. So don't forget that giving back to God, that enthusiasm that, it, you know, the spirit of God loves so that you guys, you know, spirit and I can interchange that energy of happiness and our um, energy level goes up. Our love level goes up. Nothing can stop us in that timing and in that energy so preserve but take advantage of this um sagittarius season and um always meditate keep yourself in a meditation um practice where you take your mind away from this world and the things that's going on so that you can improve yourself that others would be improved by your life and what you have to give life all right have a blessed day um, subscribe to my channel and um, ask us about what we're doing. Make a donation for the homeless and the families that are in poverty. Um, you can go on Facebook. We've given out um, turkeys. I'm grateful for those that have given to give out turkeys. And um, I'm even grateful for the collaborations that I have or that we have um, throughout uh, the United States and right here in Las Vegas and in Cali. Um, God bless you guys again and have a great day. Bye-bye.